Get out of one viv here, welcome back. As usual, once again, I hope you're all keeping well. Sitting down, working on my British infantry for the uh, out of the uh, starter army that I got from Warlord Games, which I've had for a while, and uh, I've spoken about them before and put post, post up on Facebook and Instagram and blah blah blah. Anyway, so I wanted to share a one hint and tip with you guys. You've probably seen it before, but for these guys, and I don't do it enough, to be honest, I, I should do it with all my miniatures, and so should everybody, because it makes a big difference. I've been adding these little rises underneath the feet. That's it, that's my hint and tip. And those little rises underneath the feet, and I'll show you what I'm using, because I don't have any plastic card around. So, um, let's have a quick look. It really makes a big difference when you apply the sand, which we'll see in just a minute. So all I'm doing is chopping up a, a spare base. You get, you get loads of bases in, in, uh, in your box sets, uh, generally enough for one for each figure, but uh, I mean, these I've got all over the place. Sometimes I don't use them because I use the little MDF ones, so I've got spares of them. So I'm just using these bases and I'm chopping it up, just cutting off very thin strips. There we go. And I try to remember which way is up. So that way, um, my, my little rod here has a uniform height. And then I just chop that into little bits. A little bit of glue, and then very carefully, sort of sit it on top. And then I can work it around with my fingers, sort of just get it into the position that I need it in. And there we go. It's a tiny little peg, the width of one of these bases. So I get that much space underneath the figure to be able to base them with some sand. Okay, so to further illustrate my point, because I ran into a problem, I've ducked off and grabbed some um, the Crusader figures from the um, Thayer's Fault uh, Foot Sergeant's boxes, and you can see they have this integrated base, right? So I'm going to assume that this is the same as me just gluing a figure directly to a base, right? And then I've taken another figure from the same range and I've cut off all the excess basing and just left the bits underneath his feet. So here I'm simulating this process of adding this little peg underneath the feet of my soldiers. Right, so I'm gonna put some sand on both of these and we'll see the difference. Okay, so here we go. I've gone outside and uh, I've gathered up some uh, dirt from my garden. Now I haven't baked this or anything, but if you're gonna use dirt from your garden, which I recommend, because it's got a whole bunch of different sorts of materials in there and looks great, um, bake this in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes just to kill any organisms in it. I haven't done that with this simply for the, because this is just a demonstration. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna apply some PVA, just as you would, to this figure. Obviously I'm not trying to spread it up on his feet. but it's unavoidable how the glue will wick up there. Okay. There we go. Coat of PVA on his face. I'll just let that sit there for a bit. I'm gonna stick some PVA on this guy. Don't need to be so careful with this guy because he's sitting proud of the base. So you can see my brush goes straight underneath his feet, right underneath the foot, which is exactly what I want. It's not going on top of the foot or... All right, so there we go, that's that. Now let's get some of our sand and sprinkle it on this guy. So here we go, sorry about the crappy quality of this, but I really wasn't prepared to do this. I was just basing some figures, so I thought I'd switch the camera on. So let's have a look at this guy first, right? You can see how, especially with this foot here, because it's so flat and thin, it's just disappearing into that, into the ground. It looks like he's sunk into the ground. And sometimes that's, that can work well. Whereas this guy is standing, and I'll just move some of this shit out of the way. He's standing proud of the, of the ground. He's actually standing on top of it. So certainly with this foot here, it looks like he's standing on top of the ground. 
Now you can build these layers up a little bit and it would work differently if you used sand rather than this uh, sort of dirt out of the garden. But uh, for me, this is a much better look. So there we go. That's one little hint and tip that I use sometimes um, for, for basing my miniatures. I think I saw that for the first time many, 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 many years ago in a white dwarf. Um, I don't know. It's nothing new, but um, I like to do it sometimes just so that my miniatures don't look like they're sitting in the ground or standing in the ground, but on top of it. My example wasn't the best one, it was a bit rushed and a bit crappy, I didn't have the proper supplies here at home, but there we go. I think you understand the concept. Alright, there we go. That's that. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a good weekend. See ya.